Um, I think that the war in Iraq has ever so much more to do with the abdication, with the media's abdication of its moral responsibility than with the deficiencies of our president. I think that um, the uh, media have infantilized the expectations of the audience um, for the lack, because of the lack of a some sort of transcendent informing vision. Um, I believe that uh, the surrogate existence that is provided by television has come to supplant the genuine emotional life of the populace. I believe, therefore, that uh, the reason that I have chosen not to do any more contemporary drama is because the assault on the collective sensibility uh, of 9-11 uh, was such as to, the, to make the audience, give the audience so much fear that the only way that they could be placated was with a television series, a mini-series, which would be finished in three weeks and which would tell them that you do not have to fear danger here because we are going to take the war over there. And the, the rationale for that war had nothing to do with weapons of mass destruction and everything to do with the habituation of the viewing public to the shaping of human experience in distorted forms for which the media is responsible. Um, so that the first three weeks of the Iraq miniseries was received with enormous public approval because it was the series that we wanted to see. And it was the triumph of American weaponry. And it had a beginning, a middle, and an end. And the disaffection with the Iraq war has nothing to do with what is going on with the Iraqi people and everything to do with the fact that that series is over. We don't want to see that series anymore. We wanted to be narcotized in our reaction to the assault on the World Trade Center. We got what we were looking for. Don't be bothering us anymore with the goddamn roadside bombs. Bring the boys home. Well, the boys were never coming home after three weeks. Uh, war isn't like that. It was a war undertaken for the wrong reasons and responded to for reasons that the public has absolutely no conception about. And th therefore, the dialogue that's going on about President Bush has nothing to do with President Bush and everything to do with the fact that he is the failed central character in an infantile drama which was being staged to narcotize the American public. And no matter who was in office, the, the so-called intelligentsia would be trivializing uh, him and criticizing him now, which is not to say that he's not a moron. <laughs> I know better than anyone else. I spent a lot of time with him. You know, we're fraternity brothers. But that is not what's happening in society in America today. Uh, there is nothing, it, war is a terrible, terrible, terrible thing. And if you want to know who told the biggest lie in order to get our country into war, it wasn't George Bush. It was one of our great presidents, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who knew that we were going to be attacked at Pearl Harbor and sat on the information because he knew what he had to do to mobilize public opinion. So it's got, and, and I'm not defending, uh, uh, I'm not uh, criticizing Franklin Roosevelt. I'm not defending George Bush. I am saying that there's a different drama which is enacting itself in our country right now. And it has to do with a failure to acknowledge the necessary moral and imaginative predicate in what has become 
an entirely virtual existence, which is, you know, people spend more than half their waking hours watching television. Just think about that for a second. They spend more than half their waking hours watching television. That has to shape the neural pathways. It creates an impatience, for example, with irresolution. And uh, I'm doing what I can uh, and, uh, to, to tell stories which engage those issues in ways that can engage the imagination so people don't feel threatened by it. That's why I won't do a, any more contemporary series, because that image is so indelibly imprinted on the American consciousness that we are prepared, let me tell you, for a genocide. All of this bullshit about Iraq, let one more plane go into one more big building and the American public will sign on to the extermination of everyone of the Muslim faith. Trust me. I hope you're wrong about that. Oh, I hope I'm wrong, too. Ali, but it'll happen like that. 